Uh, did somebody lose two sons? Because I'm getting two sons and I see a car. Car accident, maybe? Car proud, car? Hi. You lost both of your sons? Yes, my twin boys. Twin boys. Was Christmas involved? Because I saw Christmas lights. Yes, Christmas night. Christmas night? Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, I think this is for you. Um, <clears throat> can I ask you also, I'm supposed to talk about, I know that there's at least, ooh, sorry, I'm getting over this cold. I know there's at least one living son. There's two living. Okay. So they're talking about one in particular who's really going through a lot of difficulties. Um, I don't know if you, does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes. Also, why would I hear the name Mark Anthony? Well, names that's, actually, Mark Anthony. That's one of the twin boys. That passed? Yeah. Okay. So Mark Anthony, yeah, because I'm hearing that. And also, do you know if you would have... Um, um, some of the boys' socks. Yeah, I have the twins' socks and shoes. Okay. And also, I see something about a vehicle. It actually, actually, I wanted, so you didn't lose three sons? Um, there was three kids that lost their lives that night. Okay, that's what I thought then, yeah, because I felt like there was a third death. Yes, a driver. Yeah. Their friend. They say that they know that they were honored at the graduation, the high school graduation. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you know about that? Yes, we were there. They invited us to get their um, their diploma. Okay. I also want to ask you, too, why am I getting something about you tracking their car? Like, I feel, car? Like, you, I feel oh. like you tracked their car. You went on the GPS to find, I don't know. It's weird. I don't really get it, but it's like um, something where when they transitioned, you were like comparing what you were hearing to like, I don't know, you were tracking something, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I, I did uh, find my iPhone on my twin boy and I found him that way. That's how you found that they had died? Yeah, I, I showed up to the accident site. Oh. Okay. It, it was already guarded with the cops and the coroners. Oh, okay. And you that. just, and so you heard about this and you got a weird feeling? They showed up, they didn't show up on time. It was seven minutes late. And that was an immediate notification for me, my body and everything to go look for them. Oh, I see. Yeah, because so, they're showing me you tracking things or something. Okay. That was, that was the only way to figure out how to find them. It was one of the twins, Mark Anthony's. Okay. Seven. Maybe that's why he's bringing up, bringing up. I also want to tell you too, um, do you understand, I mean, I'm sure they both are, but do you understand that one of your sons is really struggling a lot right now with almost like a depression? Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Because I feel like one of them in particular, it's like, there's a lot going on with this person, I feel. And I, does that, I don't know, does that make sense to you? Yes, he's struggling in school, but he's doing good. He's like, he's adjusting. He's adjusting to him. They're, they're talking about this and they're trying to help with this and stuff. And they said that you've been getting closer to him and stuff. Does that make sense to you? Yes, I take him to the gym every day. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're saying yeah. that you're, you know, you're bonding with him and you're, you're getting close to him and you're, you're doing the best that you can. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. What is your name? first name, hun? Anna. Anna, okay, I didn't, I didn't know because I just, it said, yeah, sorry. Anna, um, you've been dealing with a lot of drama lately. Yes, okay. that's, I was begging to be called. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> they're just saying drama, 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 drama. Um, I mean, I feel like it's almost like if I was to look up the phrase in the dictionary, the shit has hit the fan, I, I would see a picture of your life sitting right there. Because yeah. I just feel it's like, what is going on? There's been a lot of, um, I feel you've been dealing with a lot in the last six to 12 months. Like mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah. Um, almost to the point where they're telling me that it's made you, I, I feel that you are definitely a woman of faith. I feel like you definitely believe in a higher power. I feel like you connect to your boys a lot, but it's almost making you feel like 
boy, what did I do to deserve this? What is going on? It's like, I've got a bullseye on my back. You know, it's like one thing after the next thing. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I have surgery tomorrow. So this was like very good time. Yeah, so I feel like they're trying to, you know, just tell you, um, they're they're saying that things are going to start to calm down for you because I really feel like, I mean, your boys and other things, but I just feel like you have really, Wow, you've really gone through a lot, you know, it just feels like a lot, you poor thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, They're talking about, did you get rid of the boyfriend or something? Yeah, that's the okay. ex-husband that, you helped me find him. Okay. Um, so well, they, it's funny, they're not calling him your ex-husband though, they call him the boyfriend. <laughs> the boyfriend, yeah, he's- Was, um, he their bo was he your boyfriend when they were alive? Yeah. Okay, so you weren't married to him when they were alive. No, he married me for convenience right after they died. Like, yeah, like, they're not calling him your husband. They're saying they're saying that's the loser boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he tricked me, yeah. And you've gotten rid of him? I d I'm in the process of divorce. Literally, I'm in the last days of court. Okay, yeah, because they're talking about that you're really wanting to cut ties. Yes. Um, and, you know, for some reason, it, it feels like this, he's going down with, you know, he's, uh, he's going down with a, with, with, with a fight, you know what I'm saying? But it's, yeah. like he's losing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, good. Cause he got a second lawyer and this guy's another bully. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, they're saying with this, um, you know, they're saying with this that, um, you know, uh, you know, it's funny. I'm seeing, have you ever seen, um, have you ever seen the narcissist prayer? No. It's a little saying mean thing, you know, it's, it, it, and it, it's kind of, it talks about narcissists and they, they say, you know, it, they say the narcissist prayer is um, that didn't happen. And if it did, it wasn't that bad. And if it was, it's not that big of a deal. And if it is, it's not my fault. And if it was, I didn't mean it. And if I did, you deserved it. You know, narcissist. I mean, yeah. this guy is a total narcissist. Complete. So it's anything, you know, it just, it feels like, you know, he has no, I almost want to say no conscience, really. I mean, it just feels like he, it, he doesn't care. His goal is, pillage take you know whatever step all over you i mean here you are somebody that have you know lost you know your children have been killed and i just feel like he is like totally tuned out of that could care less really about that um and is more interested in money and trying to get from you and trying to take advantage and um yeah i mean i i, I feel that see i think what happened is is i feel this situation you were in it was so traumatizing you probably ignored a lot of red flags that were going on. Absolutely. It was almost like, I can't even psychologically see that because of what I'm going through with losing my kids. Absolutely. I think, honestly, if your children had not passed away, you would oh, yeah. not have gone through this bullshit with this person. Exactly. Yeah. They're showing me, you would have been like, I'm not dealing with this. This is, this guy's crazy. But I feel like you swept so much under the rug. You went... To, and the good thing about it, Anna, is you will never repeat that with another person. You have, it's kind of like you've learned your lesson in a way. Yeah. Um, you'll never allow that to happen again. Absolutely not. So, um, but I, I think it's getting to an end. I don't know. So you're saying he's trying to get like a new lawyer or something? Yeah, he got a new lawyer and he came out, uh, they met in Hawaii and he's trying to get alimony from me now. No. Yeah, it's just craziness. And yeah. Um, no, the guy's I, being a big they're bully. showing me that this is a person who's grasping onto fumes. You know, this is a person who's at the end of the road. It's like, you know, the bank account is dried up the, yeah. maybe, you know, the, you know, and um, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I, it seems sort of self-sabotage because I feel like you were giving him a great life. Um, but I just feel that he's, yeah. So um, no, I don't see any of that working out, you know, okay. so I feel like you'll be able to, to get rid. I think by June, this will be done. Okay. That makes sense. And, yeah. and I did meet somebody else and I was like begging the boys to like, let me know if it's a good person or not. When did you meet him? I met him like three months ago and I've been just keeping my arms length because I just, I'm so afraid. Okay. 
it was like such a kind person, but I was just so afraid. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can ask them. Um, sure, we can ask about them. So you want to just know if this is if it's a bad thing or a good thing or yeah, if it's, if it's, if it's anything at this point with that person. Yeah. How long have you known him for? Just met him, like I said, three months ago. So and three months ago is when? Oh gosh, February-ish. February-ish. Is he Italian? He's he um, Turkish. Turkish, okay. Is he a vowel name? Um, Sehan is his name. Hold on a second. Um, okay. He's good, and for all intents and purposes, I feel he's a good match for you. But you are so wounded. Yeah. You need to go at a literally a snail's pace. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise you will do something to fuck this up. So you need to really go. And I almost feel like you need to tell this person that. I feel like you probably have. But I feel like you need to tell him. Um, because I feel like he's very forward and very, you know, he wants to be connected to you. Um, but I also get an energy with him where he can respect boundaries. And I don't see him really push, you know, like some men might be, like, you know, I don't know if they I want know. sex or whatever. But I just feel like you have to literally go so slow. Okay. Um, I don't really see this starting up really intensely until probably like more towards the end of the year. So I just feel like very much, you can't be, you know, moving people in and combining yeah, yeah. lives. Yeah, because the, the last guy, that, you know, crazy person that you're getting rid of, it feels like everything was so enmeshed, you know, and it's almost like, feels like you didn't really have your own life. Yeah. So that was like almost too much. So yeah. I just feel like you have to err on the side of going very slow. And spirit shows me if you do that, that this will gradually build but if you don't it'll sort of just kibosh and it won't work out um, but i think there is a definitely a potential appreciate that yeah thank okay thank you i'm going to go to the next thank person you. thank yes. you so much